High resolution audio has become quite the hot topic over the past year or so, with no product quite as hyped as the Pono player. The brainchild of music legend Neil Young, it raised its $800,000 Kickstarter goal within just one day of being on the site, and went on to raise over $6 million in its full 30-day campaign, making it one of the most backed Kickstarter campaigns ever. After nearly a year of waiting, the time has come to finally launch it, and we have got one of the first Pono players in the country to unbox for you. So first up, let's take a closer look at this rather lovely wooden box that the Pono comes in, with the Pono logo etched in the front. Pono actually means righteous in Hawaiian, and Neil Young's interpretation of this is protecting the artist's intention when they made the record, something that he feels has been lost with the compression of digital music. His argument is that you no longer need to sacrifice quality for convenience, and that is the fundamental idea behind Pono. So it opens up, the box opens up rather like an old school pencil case. And in the top here we have a little note from Neil Young himself. We've designed this player to let you hear the music the way you like to hear it. No matter what you use to listen to Pono, your music will sound better with Pono as the source. It goes on a little bit more there, but uh, some lovely reading inside here. You've got a quick start guide and talk you through how to get Pono player set up and working. And then underneath here is Pono player itself. So we have it in black. It's kind of a rubberized sort of finish, not the yellow one that's been quite heavily featured in press images, but I think there is black and yellow. And if you were a Kickstarter backer, there were a few kind of metallic limited edition um, versions from various bands and the like. This, the shape of it has been widely documented. It is going to be a love it or hate it shape, kind of Toblerone triangular shaped. It means it feels quite good to hold in the hand, but perhaps not so good for getting into your pocket. On the front, we've got three buttons for changing volume and also a selection button. And this screen here um, is actually a touch screen, which we'll, we'll take a closer look at in a moment. So on the bottom, you've got a micro SD card slot. The 64 gig will come uh, on board and then you can top it up with your own SD card. And uh, there's micro, micro USB there for charging. On the top here, we have two headphone outputs. Uh, they can be used simultaneously, so two people can be listening um, to the same track at the same time. But this output has been um, specially optimised for uh, being a stereo output, so you can connect the Pono up to um, an existing amp or any other sort of component that you might want to listen to it through. So we've actually got an American uh, plug adapter here because it isn't uh, the Pono isn't Pono Play isn't actually available in the UK just yet, so it is an American one. But I'm assuming that when it comes to the UK, we'll be having a UK adapter. And the bottom here, we've got the micro USB cable for connecting to the wall adapter. Standard micro USB lead there, and that is everything that is in the box. So let's talk a little bit more about the Pono in detail. And to turn it on, you simply press the middle button here. Now the screen is a little lower res than we're used to on the high res smartphones that we have in our pockets today, but it's it's not too bad as you can see that you get a visual representation of all the albums that you have, um, and it's it's pretty responsive um, from flicking through these menus as you can see, which is a good thing because um, these controls don't control the touch screen; they're purely for um, playback and volume controls. Um, so a little look through the menu, you swipe across to get to artists, albums, a list of songs, and you can create playlists. And there's also a settings menu as well for brightness and um, things like that. Um, to play a song, you can simply click into an artist, and then you'll get the playback screen there. And if you want to carry on searching for more, you can go back and have a look. So how do you actually get your high resolution music onto the Pono player? Well, alongside the player, Neil Young also launched Pono Music, which is a high resolution download store where you can download single tracks or full albums. And there's around 2 million tracks on there at the moment and always growing. Of course, if you've got your own high resolution music uh, uh, collection at home, you can connect uh, the Pono player up to your computer via micro USB or place them directly onto a micro SD card and pop it straight into the slot there. So there's only one question left to be asked, how much is it going to be? The US price has been confirmed at $400, but the UK price is still TBC. 
we're chasing Pono up to find out what it's going to be and hopefully get a firmer UK release date as well. So as soon as we have that, we'll be getting all of our thoughts and a full review on what hi-fi.com, so do keep your eyes peeled for that. In the meantime, we want to know what you think. Are you a backer of the high resolution revolution and will you be buying a Pono player? Leave us a comment below to let us know. And if you've liked this video, do give it a thumbs up and click subscribe for more. If you want to get in contact, you can get us on all of the social media channels. You can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and add us on Google+.